Here is the new ad that uh, Joe was talking about from a super PAC supporting former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, taking on former President Donald Trump over his recent comments praising Hezbollah. As Israel fights Hamas in Gaza and the south of Israel, the IDF also traded rocket fire with Hezbollah. The ties between Hezbollah and Iran are far greater, far more organized. Hezbollah is Lebanon's most powerful armed group and is committed to Israel's destruction. You know, Hezbollah is very smart. They're all very smart. He's a fool. Only a fool would make those kind of comments. Only a fool would give comments that could give aid and comfort to Israel's adversary. This is someone who cares not about the American people, not about the people of Israel, but he cares about one person and one person only, the person he sees in the mirror when he wakes up in the morning. We cannot once again nominate a fool like this and get him anywhere near the presidency of the United States. And having a fool like Donald Trump who would make those comments in the tone that he made them is proven to folks that he has no business being president of the United States. You know, Mike Barnacle, earlier this week, you talked about how we're coming up on the 40th anniversary of the commemoration, actually, a very sad date of over 200 Americans uh, being blown up and killed by Hezbollah. Uh, Hezbollah continues their reign of terror. They're targeting of our allies. They're targeting of Americans. Uh, and here you have Donald Trump saying they're very smart, very, very smart people. Just like he said it about President Xi, just like he said it about Kim Jong Un, just like he said, and he admitted, he admitted that he got along better with authoritarians. Mm. Uh, Chris Chris Christie uh, saying what a lot of Republican voters are thinking. It's it's about time that you have Republican candidates that are coming out and actually calling Donald Trump what he is. Yeah, Joe, that anniversary, by the way, is October 23rd. It is coming up. The Marine Corps barracks in Beirut blown up by Hezbollah. Very smart people, Hezbollah, according to the former president. Mm -hmm. the, the interesting thing about that is the root of why he says all of these things. And Jonathan just alluded to it a couple of minutes ago. It's always about someone saying something positive about Joe Biden, uh, something positive about how Biden did something with uh, Netanyahu, about how Biden did something positive for Israel, and the uh, people in Israel love President Biden, and it develops a tick in Donald Trump that he reverts to always himself, not the policy, not the dangers inherent in what's going on in, the, in, in Israel and in the Middle East right now, always about himself. I mean, it's a disease that he carries. Jed, I, people even who love Trump through and through, that comment last week about Hezbollah, they were, oh, my God, like Hezbollah? And I, I just wonder if you think there's any impact. Again, the lead is massive inside right. the primary. When you go out there, is there any exhaustion, eye-rolling, anything else among there, the voters? There is, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to non-Trump I'm Trump events and, non, and non-Trump events, and there, are, there, uh, there is, and there, I, I, at one DeSantis event, um, somebody spoke up to say, like, what are we going to do about this? Why aren't you all taking him on more? Um, you have to be more vocal. Like, it's great that you spoke out about this comments, but you have to be more vocal about the dangerous states representing or else none of you are going to win. And I think that, you know, they're all trying to defuse the bomb. Can we, because even as that, even in the DeSantis room and saying anything negative about Trump, you could feel the whole room tense up like, oh, you better not do this. It's like you can't you know, take the bomb apart without having it blow up on you. And mm. I just don't, you know, I don't see any, you know, all the, the candidates will tell you off camera, Republicans are with this. They're really not with him. And you're like, ma'am, sir, I'm sorry. Look at the polls. He's 40, 30 points up. Even, you know, his lowest margin is 30 points in Iowa. You know, there's, what is the theory? Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not even close right now. Uh, the theory is, I mean, it's we still have a couple of months left. You never know what's going to happen. It certainly looks like Donald Trump is moving towards uh, the nomination, uh, but we still have several months to go. So uh, you take it a day at a time if you're a, a politician and you keep knocking on doors and you keep going to town hall meetings and you keep hitting at the body, you keep going to the body, keep pounding it out day in and day out.